Well, the election's, of course, fast approaching next week. A set of polls across England, I think, backing up two messages. First of all, that the Conservatives are on course to be heavily punished by voters. And secondly, after seeing reform draw level with the Tories in a Welsh poll, you're actually seeing now in some electoral contests in England, reform overtaking the Tories. And it's little wonder, really. I mean, you've got Robert Jenrick now at saying some sensible things, but the problem is the Conservative government haven't actually done any of it with the majority that they've had. And so when you look ahead to some of these electoral contests taking place next week, for instance, you see the North East mayoral election, Labour leading, but only two points ahead of an independent candidate there, Jamie Driscoll. Uh, I believe Driscoll, a former uh, a Labour mayor himself, standing as an independent. A very close contest between those two. But then you look in terms of third place, and it's actually reform ahead of the Conservatives in the North East uh, of England. Uh, reform 14 to the Conservatives on 11%. There's been much attention, of course, in the West Midlands on Andy Street, if he can get re-elected as a Conservative. And we've seen some polls that have Street on course to lose. But in this particular poll that's just been released, actually Street holding on narrowly there, 41 to 39 against Labour with Reform and the Greens, a joint third there in the West Midlands on 8%. When it comes to Greater Manchester, Andy Burnham, it looks like he's on course for a landslide victory on 63%. But it isn't the Conservative second here. Reform second on 12%. You've also got an independent candidate there, Nick Buckley, on 9% level with the Tories as well. So reform ahead of the Conservatives there in another part of England, according to this poll. And finally, in the East Midlands, you've also got Labour leading on 41%, the Tories on 28%, but reform on 14%, with Ben Bradley, the Tory candidate, holding on to just 56% of those who vote Conservative at the last general election, and a whopping 24% of Tories from the last election now switching to reform. So I'd say broadly that backs up what you've seen in the recent national polls. And for the first time now, you are seeing in some of these polls reform overtaking the Conservatives. Of course, these are just polls. Things could still change when it comes to polling day. But some interesting data, some interesting numbers there. Let me know your thoughts on all of that, please, in the comments below, guys. I will, of course, keep bringing you all the latest on this and more. So please do whack this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.